folks. It's uh, Blige from uh, Bull's Rock Adventures. Uh, still uh, mushroom foraging. Uh, it's a pretty good season. Uh, if you want to see more about mushrooms, you can uh, go to my uh, previous videos and uh, learn and uh, hopefully educate yourself uh, a little bit more than you know uh, uh, yesterday. So every day is a new day that you learn uh, more. Uh, same thing with me, I always learn more and more and uh, you know it's a good experience. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of learning process you do. Anyway, so uh, today I was actually looking for uh, for uh, I uh, was going to the oak forest and I uh, was looking for the hen of the woods. Uh, no luck today. I end up in the pine forest. I think this is the white pine forest. And uh, I end up with uh, a couple of different uh, specimens. And uh, we're just gonna, uh, you know, quickly, you know, I'm gonna try to explain a couple of things. Uh, one of those is uh, Bolit, King Bolit. You guys have already seen this on my previous videos. Delicious lunch for me today. I'm gonna put this on the side for now. I don't want to even throw it. I want to make sure it's uh, nice in one piece. Uh, you know what? It's uh, hilarious. I'm going through this uh, pine forest and uh, you know a few minutes ago was it's like uh, sky is gonna come down. Uh, uh, it looked like it's gonna be a severe thunderstorm and uh, I was already approaching uh, because I was far away from the, you know, exit, uh, rather from the parking, and uh, you know, all of a sudden, it's super nice. I did find a lot of, I couldn't believe that, uh, a lot of uh, poisonous uh, fly agaric mushrooms, tons. Uh, obviously, this weather, uh, early fall, is uh, suitable. Uh, they're all over the place, and uh, it seems like in the moments I'm in some kind of enchanted forest. Uh, it almost feels like there are so many of them. It almost feels like you're never gonna come al alive from the forest uh, I don't want to even touch them. I don't want to even look at those mushrooms. <laughs> I don't like them that much eh? and uh, Anyway, so one bullet I Want to talk about those two mushrooms Now this mushroom here This is uh, weeping bullet Let's talk about this first. I'm gonna put this one on the floor. So this mushroom here, it's a, a weeping uh, bullet mushroom, also called uh, dotted or uh, granule bullet. And I don't know if you can see, but uh, from uh, halfway up the stalk, stalk is white, but uh, halfway up, you see actually uh, dots and dots are like uh, a brownish color it's almost like a almost like a you know pepper from uh, halfway up uh, top got uh, it's uh, uh, brown uh, color and it has this uh, you know white uh, I would almost call them like a, a milky spots and uh, I'm gonna Cut this in half as I always do every mushroom so I can actually uh, show you how they look. I always say that it's uh, actual uh, excellent reassurance. So meat is uh, white, not staining. I don't know if you can see that good, uh, this sun is actually flashing straight into me. Uh, I don't like that, but uh, it is what it is right now. So, meat, white, not uh, staining, and uh, pores are uh, uh, yellowish color. And uh, you would usually find them in uh, bunches. Not only one, uh, they grow in the groups and uh, it's, uh, it's a very good mushroom. It tastes like a porcini but they grow much smaller. Uh, excellent mushroom. So when you find them, uh, pick all of them. Even if you find uh, uh, small ones, pick all of them. Don't leave them for snails 
and uh, don't forget uh, pores, not gills. All right. Okay, let's go to the second one. I'm gonna leave this with my uh, bullet. Uh, second one is a uh, white, white uh, pine uh, bullet, and uh, these ones also they grow in uh, bunches. And uh, this uh, specimen here, they uh, I got quite few with me and the uh, top is uh, you know slimy and it has uh, this uh, it doesn't have a defined uh, one one color it has uh, spots almost like uh, cinema spots uh, red to brown spots oh, this is better not sun cloud just stay there please <laughs> so it has uh, this uh, almost like a cinnamon spots and uh, when, when you pick them look at my fingers when you pick them and it's because it's slimy you're gonna see on your fingers it's, it's almost like uh, uh, rust from the metal uh, it's gonna stay on your finger uh, they smell uh, something in between uh, fruity and mushroomy and this one I also gonna cut in half so you can uh, see what's going on uh, There you go. Okay, sun is back. <laughs> anyway, uh, so meat is uh, meat and tubes are yellowish color. Uh, pores are uh, brownish, yellow brownish. But uh, I'm gonna leave this on, on this uh, branch. But uh, with this one, something actually different is happening. Once you slice them in half when you get to the meat this meat is gonna as soon as it's uh, exposed to air it's gonna start uh, changing color uh, something uh, I would call it like a in between uh, red to brownish uh, color and uh, as uh, you can see the more I talk uh, more rapidly color is changing so it's originally yellow and once you slice them, uh, it's gonna start becoming like a red brownish uh, color, uh, which is normal, perfectly fine. This is just another feature for identification of the uh, white uh, pine bullet. Like I said, do they grow in bunches? And uh, you can, like I said, you can dry them. Not bad at all, and uh, uh, stock, stock is dotted, same like uh, the other one, but it's not just, uh, my god, some flies are coming around, uh, it's not just uh, halfway up, it's all the way, you have these uh, brown spots, right? So, perfectly edible mushroom pores are really big those pores are really really big I don't know if you can see them I'm gonna show you the other ones in uh, contrast to a uh, bullet they're very tiny pores and uh, this one here weeping mushroom weeping bullet very very small pores small small tiny pores so it's always to remember that uh, you know you need to identify uh, mushrooms uh, properly do not take a chance gamble uh, if there is any poisonous look alike uh, don't even bother with that mushroom because if it's a good chance you're gonna make mistake well don't make mistake don't even bother uh, just stick with the ones that you know stick with the ones that taste good and uh, you're gonna be just fine uh, like I said if you want to find out more about uh, other different uh, mushrooms uh, you can uh, go to my uh, previous videos and please subscribe and uh, I hope uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy it I'm gonna continue with my hike uh, it might actually take a little bit longer now uh, like I said the weather is all of a sudden uh, phenomenal uh, it didn't look like that uh, half hour ago 
Uh, I thought though it's time to get out of here. But uh, anyway, I like this uh, smells. Uh, fall, early fall uh, smells in the forest. Uh, you got all these uh, leaves coming down and uh, it's a very authentic smell. Uh, as soon as you get to the forest like that, uh, you feel like a million bucks. Uh, you can, uh, you know, recharge, recharge your mind. Uh, you can, uh, you know, browse through the forest. You don't think about, uh, you know, daily life uh, problems. And uh, after all, picking mushroom, it's, uh, it's almost like when you go uh, metal detecting. I don't know if you ever went uh, metal detecting. Uh, if you guys want, I can make a video about that as well. Uh, many times uh, I'm here in Canada, Ontario, many times I found those uh, silver coins, uh, believe it or not. And uh, it's kind of fun. Same thing with the mushrooms. Uh, you cannot say I'm going to the forest, you know, and I'm gonna, you know, find these uh, specific mushrooms and I'm gonna make video about it. Uh, you do actually have to put some mileage. Uh, you do have to walk around. You do have to, you know, scratch yourself, uh, get eaten by mosquitoes and flies and deal with the different kinds of weather uh, which is all fun and uh, you know you never know what you're gonna come across and uh, when you do when you find uh, you know edible mushrooms and uh, you know it kind of uh, you know feels pretty good feels pretty good uh, especially if they're delicious and you can have them for lunch later on so again uh, please uh, subscribe i hope you guys enjoy it and uh, i'll see you at the next adventure I'll continue with my hike and you know take care and uh, thank you again for watching. Bye.